Congratulations, awardees, and thank you, Dr. Teresa and DPIA Galina. For our first valedictory address, please help me welcome Thurlin Bridget Hallett, Cum Laude, Bachelor of Science in Elementary Education. Traditional leaders, distinguished guests, and honored guests, uh, the president of the team of Yon, as a Sam, culture magnesium, members of the Court of Regents, National Department of Youth uh, Education, our commencement speaker. families, friends, and fellow graduates. Firstly, and perhaps most obviously, I am filled with a great sense of happiness and accomplishment. I am very humble and grateful for this opportunity, for this opportunity, and that doing within meaning anything is possible. On behalf of the graduating class of 2023, I would like to extend our utmost gratitude to the members of the faculty staff, instructors, for all your hard work, commitment, support, the counsel you've given to us, the graduates. Thank you for everything. To our parents, our loving parents, and families. Thank you for the unconditional love and support you have given us and for believing in us that one day we will be right here. And when I say right here, this is what I learned. And to be standing here, I'm not only standing for myself, but for my graduates, uh, fellow graduates as well. And to my fellow graduates, let us not forget the theme. Students today, leaders tomorrow. Students today, leaders tomorrow. Life may give us different circumstances or bad, but what truly makes us all the same is that we are the we are a powerhouse, a powerhouse of innovations, knowledge, monarchs for life. It is up to us how we choose to use our hands, our minds, and our hearts to get us places and to become the people we want to be. So I challenge all of you, all of us, to go out there and set the world on fire. Thank you. Thank you so much. Our next valedictorian, Lynn Dixon Pangilinan, graduating class of Spring 2023 National Campus.
require class. A hard solution. On the first day of class, January 9th, I went to CTEC to attend AG 101 T1 class. As expected, I was nervous, and I believe my instructor and classmates were all nervous too, seeing this old lady in their classroom. At the end of the semester, AG 101 P1 class was a family. So I want to thank for my classmates in AG 101. I want to thank you for showing me respect while I was there with you in our class. As a Micronesian, I am very proud of our culture in raising and instilling in our children to have respect for everyone and especially their elders like me in that AG 101 class. I was so thankful that I finally completed all the required courses for the Micronesian Studies program. My daughter and son asked me where I was going to march and I said no, it's okay, I completed the program, there is no need, besides I'm a grandma. But they kept encouraging me and I'm glad they did. I was wrong, I'm here today. I'm here today because I want to fully complete what I started despite my circumstances and all the obstacles and challenges I encountered and I've overcome. I'm standing here today for my sons and my daughter and my grandkids to show them that regardless of what life throws at you, you may be obstacles, challenges, or circumstances such as age, my case, don't let it stop you from doing what you want to do. Find a solution. Use the resources at your disposal and come up with a solution. Help is always available. You just have to look for it and ask for it. To my fellow graduates, you are young and have your whole life ahead of you. You will face obstacles and challenges. However, there is always, always, help for a solution, which will make you learn and overcome, and make you the person you are destined to be. But please don't stop there. Keep learning. Don't let your circumstances deny your dreams and passions. In Matthew 19, 26, it says, Jesus looked at them and said, With men, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. That is my solution. Kalamat and God bless us all. Thank you so much, Lynn. Our next valedictorian, Vince Joy Perman, National Captain.
Can we get a round of applause for the staff? Learning, we're not only learning 
face to face, but we're also learning online using Zoom, Canvas. And by doing so, we develop the ability to challenge our challenges and to stay resilient when they should be. Third, through our time management, by prioritizing certain activities over others, we develop the ability to set standards and to follow. Fourth, by completing course programming institutional learning outcomes, we develop the ability to set goals and the ability to achieve them. Fifth, by doing group works in class, we develop the ability to work with other people and to rely on others rather than just ourselves. And lastly, when we show that we want better groups, we are developing the ability to endlessly break for groups. So, on an ending note, if you develop these qualities and these abilities, you can make yourself a leader in your home, in your own place of work, and in your will take a lot of commitment and patience. And you're showing progress right now. How do I know that? You're able to patiently endure through the whole stage. Thank you so much, PG. For the presentation of the candidates for graduation,